The Summer Haven River is a small river in southern St. Johns County, sandwiched right between the Intracoastal Waterway on the west and the ocean on its east. The Summer Haven River just can't seem to get a break, or actually breaks are its problem. Ocean waves keep breaking through the nearby beach during big storms, sending seawater and sand rushing in. The biggest, most notable breach was in 2008 with Tropical Storm Fay. That resulted in the Summer Haven River getting almost completely sanded in. Docks no longer stood in water but on sand and river wildlife such as manatees disappeared from the area. A community and state effort restored the Summer Haven River, sending water flowing through it again. Now we're breaching to the south of that. In 2016, Hurricane Matthew tore a new hole in the beach, pushing sand from the ocean into the river again, but not nearly as bad as before. Hurricane Dorian did the same thing in 2019, and then most recently, last November, a nor'easter ripped a new gap in the beach, essentially creating a new mini inlet. At that time, I reported... This is the Summer Haven River behind me, and it is now connected to the ocean because of this most recently created inlet. Then the river gets filled in with sand and then impacts the flow of the river. And so we're trying to understand what that flow actually uh, has an impact on the community. County commissioners want to know if the river smoothly flows or doesn't because it's broken into two parts, how does that affect neighborhoods, the beach, and even the Batanzas Inlet? Tuesday, the commission will discuss spending $400,000 on a study to analyze the river and the impacts of it sanding in again. In St. John's County, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.